Hi everyone, uh, right now I've got the larger box as you can see, it's quite big, that's the top sides and bottom of it. I've um, used, now let me just see, I've used um, a textured medium on the bottom and it's got like grit in it, like sand, black sand, you can see that. And what I've done is I've just laid it on, first of all I've done the wall, um, both sides and the back, and I've done that using the um, heavy cavable modelling paste. And I've just like done it with the knife and you know, laid it on basically, and then left all the marks in it because I think that's going to look like a stone washed wall when it's done. Um, it's going to be like a greyish colour. Uh, I did a layer on the bottom for, first as well on the floor, uh, and then I put the textured paste on. Uh, the gritty one and then I just got a tool and just made the marks of the flooring uh, and that's going to be fantastic so when that's all painted grey I will go over these um, bits with the white which will make that look like it's mortar well it won't be white it'll be like a mucky white um, and then like I say these walls are going to be painted shortly so I've got that room ready um, and the next thing, I'm just going to take this off, just, and excuse my desk. I mean, I have been working extremely hard. <laughs> the next thing is this one. Uh, I've put the shelf on. I'm going to be putting this bar on as well to hang some uh, tools. But watch. I've got a light. <laughs> what I've done is, and it's really rough. And I mean really rough. Inside, I've done the light bulb, which is the clicker bit is here at the top. Um, and I've just added a piece of um, foam board in there to hold that in place. And just cut a hole in it, basically, for the light. Um, yeah, and it's, it gives it enough light. Um, I've done this up to now. So I've left this as is, because it does look old. Um, I put a oh sorry about that. Um, the base on there, and that's now got to be fitted onto that. I've glued these in like they're like it's been stewed, and I've done a little bit of the uh, glue trips in down. I'm going to colour uh, colour that up a little bit more, but that will then sit in there like that. Oops, sorry. Just get that in there. I mean that's going to be on a, a stone floor as well. Um, just trying to get that. And then when you put the light on it, look, isn't that wicked? <laughs> so all I've got to do now uh, is to decorate this. So I'm just going to paint it up. I'm not having the brickwork like that. Um, it's all going to be like a greyish type. Um, so that's that. I'm just going to turn that off because I don't want to ruin the battery. Just move that again out of the way. Um, I've managed to, well, I've done this so far. I've put the birdcage cage onto this this is just a little pot uh plant pot uh, painted it black and now i'm going to do a captured fairy in that um i painted the jug added some cloth around it and i will put some beads around there uh, and then i've just stuck in all the witch's brooms so that's uh, almost done um what else have i got to do lords <laughs> there's just loads and loads and loads to do so but i'm thrilled i absolutely love that oops i do i love it i think it's turned out pretty neat and i think when it's all in and uh, that it's gonna look fantastic so i just thought i'll share that with you isn't that fab in there and i'm going to paint that now and um i didn't i don't want to do the pot uh black because I'm not going to be the same as everybody else. I'm going to do it my way, how I want it. And, uh, you know, you don't have to do it black. Um, so there you go. Thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll be back with more. Bye-bye for now.